What is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, and today I have for you a bit of a continuation or some more information on what's going to be coming in the crafting update. So the crafting update, if you don't already know, is coming on September 13th. Uh, I got a video from the press release from Blade and Soul where we go over the uh, new stuff that's getting added into it, a general overview of what's happening in it. So go check that video out. I'll link it up in the top corner right now. But um, what we're going to discuss in this one is more of the substance of the change or what we can probably expect. This isn't 100% confirmed, but it's just about. I don't think they're going to change the entire crafting system from the uh, other regions to the NA region. I think it'll be pretty darn similar in terms of items and things. So what I did is I went ahead and looked at the other uh, other systems, other crafting systems in the game from the different regions, and put together a little bit of a change list thing that you can expect for new items and new things like that. So we're going to get right into it. So all of the um, crafting stuff right now, I guess we can just do a comparison. So you see you have to order from the guild, and you get these different irons, or the different logs, and then you go ahead and build it in this. So each guild will have its own items that feed into it. So, for example, um, the forge keepers. So we're in the forge keepers right now. The forge keepers need these irons to feed into it, so you have to go through the prospectors union to get the irons. The uh, forge keepers is no longer going to be using these irons. The item is going to be called bars. Um, so bars will be what was used for the forge keepers. You'll be able to order them right here off of the forge keepers and then go ahead and uh, build whatever you're trying to build. So this is the same for all of the guilds. They're all getting a different item. So all of your old crafting items, these uh, stuff from the gathering guilds, so the irons, the logs, the wheats, the everything that you get from these old ones is no more. So make sure you sell these off before September 9th um, or use it by September 9th because on September 9th you uh, won't be able to do any crafting at all in Blade and Soul so you need to be max levels with whatever guilds you're going to be using for this new crafting update by September 9th uh, otherwise those values on the market are going to absolutely plummet to nothing so that is what to expect here um, with that so each of these guilds like I'm saying has a new item so Forge Keepers is going to use bars the Soul Wardens use planks Earthseers use papers uh, Radiant Ring uses rocks, Silver Cauldron uses roots, and the Acquired Taste uses wheat. So those are the new items that you'll be getting for these uh, things to craft. Alright, so there are two ways to obtain these new items. So either A, you uh, go ahead and craft it directly from the guild, so like I'm doing with these white cedar logs right now. Just go ahead and click it, craft it, and then you'll get it and go ahead and uh, make the item. Um, the other method that to do this is that they get exchange papers from dungeons. So what happens when you complete your daily challenges or when you uh, finish the dungeons, you get these boxes, and these boxes have the chance to contain exchange papers, or they do contain exchange papers. These exchange papers can then be exchanged for the materials you want. So if you need rocks, or if you need planks, or if you need anything, you can go ahead and exchange these papers for the item to go ahead and craft. Or like I said, you can go ahead and craft it through actual same way as this. Um, a certain quantity of items costs varying amounts depending on how many you order or how long it takes. Um, so it increases with increasing number, pretty obvious on that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up a picture of the China servers. I got a picture from Kuropi about the um, system that you're going to be expecting in the China system. So the way theirs is set up. And I can go ahead and break it down for you so you can see what it'll look like when it comes over to the NA server. So big thank you to him for sending that over to me. Alright, so here you see the menu for crafting in uh, the Chinese server. So you can see it's pretty similar. You got your little Forge Keepers and Radiant Ring tab, um, and you got a little scroll bar, just like on the other menu where you could scroll down and select what item you want to craft. Same thing, you can pick all order availables, order materials, all those things. So super simple on the left side of the screen over there. Um, next thing you're going to notice is in about the middle right, and I'll put little blurbs up here to highlight it for you, is you have a select order. So you can select, select between 6 hours, 12 hours, and 23 hours for the item you want to craft. So selecting increasing quantities of time will increase the uh, amount of items that you receive when you uh, go ahead and craft it. So you can see that uh, 6 hours gives a certain amount. Blah, 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 blah. They have different costs associated with each time and also different material requirements. So you see there on the left, the two items on the left um, in the order fees and materials section, those items are the new items for the uh, Forge Keepers, which once again is bars. So you need two different types of bars, plus soul stones, moonstones, uh, sacred orbs, Elysian orbs, and then that item at the end is not an item on the NAEU server, so it is not something that will be there for ours. Uh, anyway, that's it now, guys. I said the last little bit. Um, hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, please give it a like. Uh, I got a lot of great Blade and Soul stuff on the channel. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video. Peace.